Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I have a uh, opportunity to uh, do a video on Juki LU2810 is the new type of walking feet, triple with triple feet walking. We look at this monster, it's beauty. It's like this is the top of the notch, um, LU2810, long neck. It's not very long, but it's long. Uh, I think I did a video on one of their um, uh, convention or trade shows uh, from Juki Booth, but I'm going to do one and I'm going to show you what this machine does. It's, it's an amazing, amazing sewing machine. Look at this table. Look at this. And we have it set up on a super heavy duty T legs with wheels, and we have a 750 uh, watt brushless motor from new tech uh, this machine um, is a semi dry meaning the oil goes inside and not inside the oil pan um, is not automated is manual but I mean by manual is knee lifter right here reverse right here I'm gonna tell you I don't even know what it is but we're gonna find out I think oh yeah you could uh, from here too beautiful I had no idea yeah, so this is also the food lifter from here. I mean, it's hard for you to go in the back here, you'll do it from here. Okay, let's go, let's do some dimension for you people at home. You Juki lover, lovers. Summer is coming and people are excited to do their project. Summer is the time that you usually do your project, you do your awning outside, you know, shade, whatever. A 48 inch USA made table by 24 inch. It's a long, it's a wider, uh, wider uh, uh, table. The bed of the sewing machine, entire sewing machine is 27 inch from one end to the other end. Uh, the neck is 14 inch. Almost five and a half to five and a three quarter inch. The space between top and bottom. Uh, right here, obviously, if you just wanna know, it's about three and a half. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna measure by knee lifter, look at the, the length. Three quarter, easy. And then by hand right here, when you do this right here, it's always less, um, half an inch. All right, uh, across seven inch, LED lamp by New Tech. Let's go look at inside the machine. It's really heavy. Uh, I'm gonna hold something right somewhere that I could just Telling you, this is maybe this has to come even come out. Yes, no. I'm gonna check. I have not done a video on this one. I might have done it on a trade show, but not on a large scale the way we want to do right now. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay. So I think right here, this has to go. Give me one second. Oh yeah, the knee lifter has to come out and there's a clip that goes in. So you just pull it out. I'm gonna just pull it back in. I'm gonna show you guys. And now let's say if you could do it. Oh yeah, look at this beauty. Heavy, you gotta watch it right now. All right. Hello everyone, again, look at this. This is where the oil goes when you pour the oil in there. All the oil goes here and this is how you drain it. If it gets dirty, you wanna drain it. That's what it called no pumping system here. This is an oil drip for oil dripping like you see. When it's oil dripping, it comes here and it's collected underneath, uh, collects the oil, if there is any oil. But in general, no oil pan here. 
So we call this dry head, meaning everything goes inside there. Look at this system. Look at this timing belt. Wow, Juki. Still made in China. Again, this is not the fully automated one. 2810 LU. I think we're enough here. We're gonna go put it back down. So just to show you guys, this is where the knee lifter goes. Just go in there and plug in and comes out. Very easy. In and out. I hope you guys are having a great time at home while I'm doing this. And thank you for all your support. Here we go. We have the machine set up on a regular 69 thread. But at one point, I'm going to go change it for you guys and show you it's going to work on the new tech Gold Star brand 270. Machine comes with oil. Bunch of accessories for setting up the table, the machine on the table with all this corner, couple of gauges. Is a extra large capacity bobbin. We have it set up on our website with the number. Somebody told me it's a U, U bobbin. Okay. The needle is 135 by 17, and but the needle that is inside is size 20, it's size 23. You get a couple of um, screwdriver, oiler, uh, manual for the motor, uh, manual for the, mm, you see this is the manual that Juki really sends you guys, but you could go online and download or they have a digital, this is the way you set up the machine on the table, but they have a digital um, owner's manual. We have it on our website. And this is the uh, dust cover. And I'm gonna put everything back. I don't wanna waste your time. And this is what we need to do. This is what they send the sample and this is what it will do. And we're gonna do more. So this one goes right in here. There is a hole, you just go in and find your hole with the hand. There's a pin inside and you put this inside and under. We don't need to put the oil in because I'm shipping it up. The machine is on. Again, you have a speed up, speed down, and I'm gonna start sewing. Now, somebody asked me, called me and said, hey, if I buy your motor, can your pedal, which is connected to a switch, we call it a pedal switch. If I press high, uh, if I press harder and slower, would it make a difference? I had no answer to that because they always, but yes, it does. See, I'm going slow now. And now I'm gonna turn around because there is no room. I'm gonna bring this down and see it, slow. Sleep that and that, but you could adjust this machine, this motor to go very, very slow too. See, I'm gonna do slow and high. Now, uh, the machine is, why would people buy this another 1541, 1541? As obviously, this is a wide neck, long neck, more heavy duty, the tension system is heavy duty, this is the bobbin winder, and the bobbin itself, itself is a big bobbin. And one more thing here, I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna show you inside, look at this system. It's just an amazing, amazing, I got to press this down, when you wanna take press down and push this back. It's a top, top load bobbin. Top load bobbin, look at this. So it's really big bobbin, big wide bobbin. It's really heavy sewing, made for hoving, uh, sewing heavy stuff. Uh, and one more thing that this machine has that's gonna show you, look at here and look at the inside 
food. You see, now went down. If you, you could adjust the middle one up. You might not see it very, but it, this will adjust it. The thread, look at the tension. There is a the, the foot pressure right here uh, that you could up and down and you adjust it by turning this. I'm not gonna touch it, I'm gonna leave it where it is. Automatic bobbin winder. Overall, an amazing, amazing sewing machine. Look at this, I'm gonna do some, look how much room you have here. And we're gonna try. That's what we do, right? That. That's what it's supposed to do. See how much room you have. I'm even scared to do this, but look at this. So whenever you feel like you want to break some thread, you just, see, it has two tension that it would really help you out. Also, the bobbin winder right here. We're going to talk about the bobbin one in a minute. I'm sure you know this is a bobbin winder. Look at that. And no question. I mean, look at it. Look at this. Yellow is in the bottom, the blue that you cannot see on top. But what I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do now, what I'm gonna do is do one of these things. Now, if you wanna pull the thread, I went back here and I did this, you don't have to, you could just press this one and it will do the job for you. Just release all the tension. I'm going to use the uh, two things. The bobbin goes here, number one. So look at this. This is actually uh, 69 that we did with the machine, but um, I'm gonna just go ahead and maybe leave it, but show you guys how this thing is done, right? And I think that's how it is, just goes around here, right? And this one goes down here. That's what it is. Okay, I'm going to change this thread and I want to show people how the thread is done. So I'm going to use the T, very heavy T270 nylon bonded thread from Gold Star Tool. We have this in 12 beautiful colors on our website. Um, and actually, a lot of company buy this, this from us. They love our thread because I just did red. You named this thread. What color did you name this? Some thread, I forgot, all right. All right, we're gonna put this here. And whenever I wanna change the thread, this is what I do. I do not get rid of the thread. I tie it up here. And then I just pull. There are holes, you could do two. Could go over, we didn't go over. Just pull. Okay. And again, I'm gonna leave this here. And just, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull. This is supposed to release some stuff. When you do that, Maybe while you're sewing, hold on. Uh -huh. You press and it will release. Press and, you see? And obviously I'm going through this. Oh, yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna cut. We went in, out, behind, over, behind, under, you gotta get this through this. I'm gonna put it through the 
lead through this one. Can you see? I don't see. Oh yeah, there is two holes here. Upper and lower. And then inside this thread guide right here, inside this thread guide here. And one more thing that I want to tell you, the, the plate and the eye of the feed dog is totally different than any other machine. Look at that. White beauty. Pull in and out. Again, we are working on a 135 by 17 number 23 thread. And here we go. I want to see the different. I want you guys to see the different than. Remember, I have, I have not put oil in there, by the way. This is the safety clutch. For any reason, for any reason, your machine gets stuck. That's if you go over something really heavy. The machine will stop working. All you have to do, press your hand, press your finger, press the button with your finger, and wiggle this back and forth, and it will release itself. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna try the, um, Reverse, and we're gonna ch try the uh, stitch nut. Are we good? Here we go. How are we? Okay. You see that happen right now? That's what I did. I. It got stuck somewhere and I went and I... Again, let to see why it's getting stuck. I'm gonna tell you why it's getting stuck. Very simple. Okay, now good. The reason it's getting stuck is because there are a bunch of threads right here. I'm gonna release them and I'm gonna start new so it won't, that won't happen. Okay, the, this machine will do the 270 thread, no question. But I'm gonna do it on this here, right here to show you guys that you could see that it's gonna do it. Okay? See now this is all the way up. You could have it down too. See, up and down. At this beauty. I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna get rid of this. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are on number six. I'm gonna go to number nine and I'm gonna do more layers. Turn back. I just want you to see the top stitch. Look at this beauty top stitch if you're doing this one on a different thread. Okay. I'm gonna get more, more fabric, don't worry about it. I'm gonna get... This is the front, this is the back. Look at that. This is six, seven layers, I'm gonna put more. So the thread is going, as you could see, the thread is working, right? We're doing that. So whenever it's full, it's gonna stop by itself. Show him, look at that. I'm so happy that this one happened. And we could still do more. Believe me, we could do more. But hey, I set up the machine on a 270 nylon bonded thread. The bottom is 69 automatic bobbin winder. You get the machine the way you see it right here, all set up, or you want, you get it and you put it together. Oil, where does the oil goes? Oil, 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 oil. Let's see where the oil goes. Here you go. This is where the oil goes. You have that oiler, you fill up that oiler and you fill it up here and the oil goes up 
Did we do reverse? We didn't do reverse. People want to see the reverse. Let's do the reverse. And here is the reverse. Gentlemen, look at this. You are at home. I'm telling you, it's amazing. By the way, we have a bunch of feet for this machine. Coding feet. We have um, um, zipper foot. All oh, you could go online and check what you need. This is David from goldstartool.com. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to put this out. I'm going to show you guys one more time. Triple feet. Look at that. Hammer type, when it comes down hammer, look at this, look at this edges that I did, really sick. Look how beautiful it did it. And this is the other one. David from goldstartool.com, this is a great machine, 2018, 14 inch neck. Heavy Monster by Juki. Unbelievable sewing machine. On tables and T-legs and motor from goldstarnewtech.com. Please like, share, thumbs up, and uh, Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.